What's up YouTube? Welcome back troll looters. Welcome to the channel where it's all about you and it's all about the loot. Today we're going to do Magic the Gathering. It's actually Tuesday night. I'm trying to prepare for the Wednesday release. Uh, and we have a mystery box. These are not new mystery boxes. This is something I've had around for a couple of months. I haven't opened. Uh, these came out in January of this year. So these are not new, but I need to open it and see what's inside of it. So we're going to get to this. But before we do, I wanted to show you the Ixalan release that's coming up in September. And this is for the people who aren't familiar with Magic. Maybe you've thought about, you've heard about, and wanted to get familiar with what it was, how it works, that sort of thing. I won't go into a whole lot of detail on that, but I just kind of want to give you some dates and throw some ideas out at you. Uh, Ixalan is the new release for Magic, and it's going to be all about pirates and vampires and dinosaurs, which sounds really awesome because it sounds like a sci-fi movie gone crazy. Uh, but, but what I wanted to show you is the dates uh, and some of the artwork, some of the cards, that sort of thing. So one of the dates to be familiar with if you're a new player, the community of uh, TCG is... I, I found it to be amazing. The people are always willing to, to go the extra mile and try to help you understand and learn a card game, whether it be Magic, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, you name it. If someone has it, they always want to teach you what it is, so they have someone to play with. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Um, so the date that you want to look for is September 16th through the 17th. If you go to uh, your local card shop, more than likely they're going to have this available. And what it is, is they actually have a welcome deck for you. They have a deck of cards that they will give you for free to sit down and start playing with some people that are either new or they're, they've been in the game for a while. It's just something to kind of get you into it. I mean, this is this is them giving you money so that you can come and learn, uh, learn a game, learn a skill. Uh, so keep September 16th through 17th in your mind. You need to check your local your card shops, call around and see uh, what their, my video keeps doing this. Hey, how about we don't show this message again? That would be awesome. Um, anyway, September 23rd is the pre-release. So that's when they're actually going to have the pre-release of the cards. They'll have uh, some games and, and such going on during that. You'll probably have a lot more of what's going on in the, in the, the open houses but it will probably be a little bit more serious, a lot more serious playing. And then there's draft weekend. Um, people have started to kind of get a feel for some of the cards and it leads up to the pro, pro tour, which everyone's gotten their rotation of what they're expecting to see. So they're gonna go out and flex their muscle and see if they have the right card deck, so on and so forth. A lot of you are familiar with this type of concept already if you're already playing TCG games. Uh, but I kind of just wanted to to show you show you this. This is essentially on magic the magic.wizards.com. I'll put the link below. But you can find a store near you right here by just typing in your zip code, and it'll bring up your local card shop. So that's pretty helpful. The other thing that I wanted to show you was uh, they're showing 279 cards for the new release. And of course, they have colors just like all the other TCGs do. If you're not familiar with Magic. Uh, but they have a couple of changes in here and I'm really uh, I'm really surprised and happy that they're showing a lot more colorful artwork in some of these new cards. If you can kind of see there's a lot of bright purples, bright reds, they, they really show off the, I don't know what the term is, it's just like this guy here. This guy just looks awesome. Herald of the Secret Streams. I mean that looks like a car I would want to collect. Uh, just the purples and the blues and I think they're just doing a really awesome job with bringing in more color, more artwork into the into the games. And then you got Jace over here. This just a really blue, beautiful blue card. It just kind of speaks volumes. So I'll just kind of take you down through here real quick, so you can see some of the artwork. Like that looks awesome. You guy stabbing him in the back, waiting for him to walk the plank. I mean, just I'm kind of blown, starting to be blown away with some of the stuff that Magic's doing. That sunburn, uh, sunbirds. Invocation looks pretty awesome. I'll just kind of point out some of the things that really, so that really pops your eyes. I mean, it's, it's just, it's starting to look amazing. One of the things that I did wanted to show you, other than the multicolored, I think it's down here, is the double face. I'm pretty sure this is new to Magic. Correct me if I'm wrong below, you know, uh, critique me at the bottom. 
but they've not had a double face card like this before. You, on both sides, you can now play. One is like a land side, the other's an artifact. So they're starting to they're starting to bring in that type of card. I think bef before it just had a split card, one where you were playing, and then the other when you were using it from your graveyard. Uh, so there again, I just kind of wanted to show. That's awesome. She's looking through the spyglass there. I just wanted to kind of show some of the artwork, show what's upcoming uh, before we show you what's going on in the in the mystery pack, and just give you an idea of where you can look for some of this material if you if you've ever thought about wanting to play Magic. Uh, it's a great community to get into. I'm kind of getting into it myself. I'm still learning what it means to be a player of Magic and what it takes to kind of learn it and get up to speed on it. So I I'm new. So if any of you out there are new and you're kind of in my shoes. Here's a good resource. It's always great to get on their website, look around. And they've got a lot of great articles. If you click over here in articles and you read article homes, you can see uh, almost like a daily post. I don't know why my internet says so slow. A daily post of all the new stuff that's coming out and all the conversations that's being had about their release because they want you to know about it. They want you to be a part of it. Uh, so check out their website, uh, get a little bit more information. Uh, that being said, that's all I wanted to kind of show. We'll get into this Magic the Gathering mystery box and see what's in there. All right, so here's our mystery box. Again, this was in January when they put these out. What is inside of it? A lot of you probably already know, but let's go over it. Oath of the Gate Watchers, Sh Shadows, Eldritch Moon, Kaldesh, Aether Revolt, and one mystery box booster pack from Magic the Gathering Modern History. Plus the spin down life counter. So the mystery is really about what's in the packs versus a lot of the other mystery boxes like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh is what else is in the box. So let's open this one and let's see what we have here inside of the Magic Mystery Box. Maybe there's a time portal in here or something. Here's the mystery box. Whoa, there's a dice in there. There's the countdown. There's your die. Boop. And then here's your packs. Gatewatch, Revolt, Corset. That's the history one. Kaldesh, Eldritch, and their shadows. So let's do four last. In this particular order here. This shouldn't take forever to get through these. A lot of what people want to see is what's near the back. But I'm going to take you through all of them because I like the artwork and that's what I'm going to do. So, Searing White, The Gate, Mall, Witness, Netcaster. Reality, Wastes, Gravity Negator, Bonesaw, Reaver Drone, it's a Silver, Uncommon, Flare Drone, Uncommon, Stoneforge, Uncommon, and there's Sylvan Advocate. So there's your rarity there if you don't know what you're looking for. So that's a pretty nice card. And then there's another nice card. It's actually a, a hollow. It's pretty sweet. Munda's Vanguard. That's really nice. You can see the hollow work in that. Pretty sweet looking card. And then the forest is your land card at the back. And there's your token creature element. So there's that one. That was Gate, gate Watch. Wrangle, Hinterland Drake, Drake, sorry, Scrunging Bandar, it's interesting, it's like a cat monkey, Daring Demolition, Wilder Automation, did I say that? Automaton, Sellback, it's a cool looking lizard, Iron Tread Crusher, Universal Solvent, 
Night Market Guard. And uncommon is Live Crafter's Gift. Outland Boar. Wind Ken Raiders. And Secret Salvage. Swamp. And Energy Reserve. Place your energy counters in this area. Alright. Next one up is Calvesh. And here it's telling you they want you to join the best community in the multiverse. Let's go with the front. Acrobatic maneuvers. Nimble innovator. Very cool looking card. Hijack. Sky Swirl Harrier. Appetite for Unnatural. That's spooky freaky looking. Mind Rot. Glint Steve Artisan. Eager Construct. Dukara Peafowl. Dukara Peafowl. Metal Spinner Puzzle Knot. Starting to sound like a Yu Gi Oh card now. Underhanded designs. Common. Unlicensed disintegration. That is a pretty bright looking card, too. Refurbish. Horsey, horsey. And there's the Master Twink. Twink Keter. Twink Cutter. Twink Cutter. Creature Dwarf Artificer. Artificer. Swap. For your land. Token is. Servo. It's a cool looking token. Now the Eldritch Moon pack is next. And Borrowed Grace. Otherworldly Outbursts. That is freaky looking. What is coming out of her mouth? Wolfkin Bound. That's pretty cool. Full moon type stuff. Skurdek Supplicant. S Crossroads Consecrator. Borrowed Hostility. I think half the fun of this is pronouncing the words. Cathard Shield. Thrasbin Standard Barrier. Bearer. Exalted Cultist. Nephilia Academy. Nephilia Academy. It's a land. Rise from the Grave. Mourn Willow. It's a creature. Plant skeletons. Uncommon. And then there's Greer Reach Sanitarium. A legendary land. That looks very cool. And a Smoldering Werewolf. Too. It's a plains land, and the creature is Eldrazi Horror. Two more decks left. Next up is the Shadows over in Instarad. I can't even pronounce that word. I've tried that word so many times. Silberlin Snapper, Militant In Inquisitor, Strength of Arms, Vessel of Volatility, Thornhide Wolves, Rinsed Rats, Fairy Temper, Fiery Temper, Billion's Indignation, Uncommon, Weirding Wood, Magnifying glass. Corrupted graph stone. It's an artifact. Hinterland logger. And then there is a hollow of Lampholt pacifist. Creature, human, shaman, werewolf. That is a pretty cool card. Brief 
three. And then these, the double face card. This is, you can mark this card to represent a double face card in your library or hand. Make up your own card, I guess. Clue. This is a token artifact. All right, one more pack. We're going through this mystery box. Essence Scatter. Seismic Stomp. Undead Minotaur. Frost Breath. Duress. Lava Axe. This is pretty cool looking bear. Giant Growth. Heatherfield Ox. Death Gaze, Death Gaze Cockatrice, Wild Guess, Flames of the Firebrand, True and Common, Tenacious Dead, another Silver, Sindir Vampire, and Imposing Sovereign is the rare creature human. It's an island. And that the creature is elemental. So that's all that came in that pack today. So again, it was mainly packs. It normally is for magic. So if you like what you saw below, go ahead and click the like button. Sub if you want to. Um, we'll definitely do some Yu-Gi-Oh! on Friday, I believe is the schedule. So have a great week. Um, I had fun opening the, the pack. It was a little weird because I kind of knew it was not going to be anything other than just cards. But cards are really fun. I like that they're starting to up their game on the artwork a little bit with the next um, the, the next iteration. So hopefully we'll get a pack of those when it comes out. We'll open those then. Have a great day.